about it for a moment, different approaches that we can take to negotiation, uh, depending on how much emphasis you put on trying to meet your interests, how much concern you show for your interests, and how much concern you show for the other side, for the other side's interests. And effectively, this gives you four approaches from low to high. Essentially, we could, for example, just pay intense concern to our own interests, try to get what we want, no, no, no regard for the other, and you get this rather hard adversarial approach. Or you could do the converse, which is just you know, pay attention to the client, the customer, they're always right, or whatever it is, give them everything they want, but not pay attention to our own interests, and you get this rather soft, accommodating approach. And we can think about what kind of approaches we tend to use. Oftentimes, inside organizations, inside families, uh, there's a lot, because conflict is something, when there's conflict, we get uncomfortable with it, we tend to avoid. And so oftentimes we use this approach of, we avoid, we don't talk about it, it's too difficult, and so we're not showing concern for our interests, and we're not showing concern for the other side's interests. Now, the challenging thing, I think the best approach is to look for an approach where you do both, where you simultaneously show concern for your own interests and concern for the other side's interests, a mutual gains approach, looking for something that can satisfy both sides. And that comes back to you, because I think that takes a lot of creativity. And that's perhaps our biggest resource in negotiation. We often kind of get uncomfortable around negotiation, but if you think of it as a creative challenge, I think you can see it as, a, as an opportunity. Because we often approach negotiation like there's a fixed pie. And whatever share of the pie I get, the other side doesn't get. Whatever they get, I don't get. But in fact, the real opportunity exists is to expand that pie before you divide it up. And that takes